had several people inbox me and ask me some questions on how they can find some certain features that have been hidden or harder to find. And first off, I'm going to go ahead and show you that I have iTunes open, but it has been minimized. So if you go ahead and hit Command Option M, it'll bring up your mini player. And if you hit Command Option M again, it'll bring up your full iTunes. Let me click off of this so you can see it how it normally you opens You can stop up. searching for screen flow, it's gone. It's not hidden away. There's no way to enable it. Apple, for whatever reason, decided to remove it completely. So one of the first things you'll notice over here on the left side is that your sidebar is gone. So if you want to bring your sidebar back up, you hit Command Option S, and that will toggle your sidebar. Not that useful, but you can hit Command 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, or 7. I have no idea why I don't have an option for 7 to toggle through all your screens up here at the top under Library. Uh, if you decided to share your details with Apple whenever you first installed it, then your album artwork should be automatically updated. If you are wanting to find uh, how to do your album artwork, you'll go up and go to File, then Library, then Get Album Artwork. So there's that's one option. And secondly, if you want to, if you changed your mind and you do want to share with Apple, you would click under iTunes Preferences. Then you go over here to store, and right down here at the bottom, you tick this box. Hit agree, and it says share details about your library with Apple. This allows iTunes to get artist images, album covers, and related information based on items in your library. And one of the last two features I'm going to talk to you about is how to burn a disc. To burn a disc, the only way you can get it is if you go into a playlist and click from there. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my top rated, then you'll click down here on the little settings scroll wheel and you'll go to burn playlist to disk. If you're not on a playlist, that option's not there. Okay, and for the final thing I have, let's see, we'll go to iTunes Store, which is right here on the sidebar, but if you're not here, I'm going to hit Command Option S again to click that back off. Your iTunes Store will be over here. And once we're in the iTunes Store, how do I find my downloads to manage them? What if I accidentally downloaded something, I don't want it, I want to stop it, or just the same, what if you have a bunch of downloads automatically downloading to, up, for, to do updates and you need your internet faster or whatever, you need to stop those downloads. Um, let me go up here, I'll open up the App Store. I'm just going to click on a free download to show you because that's the only way you're going to see it. Okay, I already have YouTube so I'll go Smash Cops Heat. And I'll click download. And you'll notice up here. Yeah, I know I've already purchased it because I was doing this ago. Up here to the right, you'll have the little blue we get, or blue line that you can see the scrolling through. If you click on that, that actually brings up your downloads. Okay, I'm gonna back out of here and go to my library real quick and show you what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and play this song. Okay keep from any copyright things. I just want to play something so that you see that two things are playing and this arrow box pops up over here and you can toggle between your downloads and back to the song that you have currently playing. Okay guys, I'm going to wrap this up. If this helped you out, please thumbs up and subscribe.